I know many of us, we have been on the plane before. And we say, oh yeah, I'm going to fly, I'm going to be in, I'm going to be out. But look at what happened this past week. Those who are on the plane, the same route, other planes have taken before, they were shut down. All body dead. Everybody is dead. Amen. When you are alive, when you are alive, learn to give thanks to the Lord. Come on, Jesus begin name. to appreciate Jesus God. Lord appreciate God. God this morning. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Oh, begin to give God praise today. Come on, thank him, thank him for his mercy. Thank him for keeping you alive. Come on, come on. Begin to thank the Lord today. Thank him, thank him. Only the living can praise the Lord. The dead cannot praise the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord, our God. Give him praise, give him praise, give him the glory, give him the honor. He deserves the glory, he deserves the honor. What a great God, what a mighty God, what a powerful God, what a glorious God, what a dependable God. Father, we just worship you, we honor you, we give you praise, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration. Because you are the Lord, because you are the King, you are the mighty Father, the most powerful God, the most glorious God, the most dependable God, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one we trust, the one we hope, the one we release ourselves in. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory today. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Because you have no equal. Father, we send unto you for the glory. We thank you for the opportunity to come and worship you today. We give you the opportunity. We thank you for the opportunity. The way you have been protecting us. The way you have been guiding us. Father, we bless you. We bless you. Come on, thank the Lord. Come and show appreciation to the Lord today. He is awesome. He is powerful. He is mighty. He is kind. He is a kind God. A good God. A mighty God. The most powerful God. Come on, give the Lord praise today. Give him all the glory. We bless you. We honor you. We give you praise, O Lord our God. Father, bless the be your name. 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 We bless you today. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. We thank you, Jesus. We appreciate what you are doing in our life. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your favor. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We appreciate you. We honor you. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your goodness. Bless be your name. Makaya chondolo boko sekaba. Eba ya kaya chondolo boko sekaba. Andele bakantolo boko sekaba. Makantolo boko shekaba. Malali makaya raba. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we honor you. Father, we plow before you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for revelation. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for peace. Thank you for happiness. Thank you, Father, for going out and coming in. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you. We honor you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you, Jesus. Makaya Chondorobokoseda. Makatoro boko shekaba. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We honor you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Makaya na makatoro boko shekaba. All glory. All honor. All adoration. All blessing. All favor. Belongs to the Lord. Oh Lord our God. A great God. A mighty God. The most powerful we God, the most glorious God. We appreciate you. We honor you. We give you praise. About Toro Boko Shekayaba. Take all the glory. 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 Take Father, we honor your name. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. The 
life of God. We will praise oh, yes, oh, God, I know our is coming. Father, we said unto you, be the glory. Unto you, be the honor this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name. We bless you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. We don't take anything for granted. We thank you, Father, for all our family members. Father, we thank you for our church family. We thank you for all the men. We thank you for all the women. We thank you for all the children. We thank you even for the babies in the womb. We say, blessed be your name forever and ever. Thank you for going out with us. Thank you for coming home with us. Father, even our members that traveled, we have quite a few people that travel to Africa. We thank you, Lord, that you have allowed them to arrive there safely. We pray that you will bring them back here safely. We pray that no harm will come against them. And those of us who are here, we pray for your Shekinah glory, the way you have been doing it, to continue to go with us. Father, even at our job, Father, protect us. Father, in everything that we lay our hands upon, let us prosper. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we will not lose any one of our members to death. We will not lose them to cancer. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we give you praise this morning. We acknowledge your majesty. We know that what you have done for us so fast, even as we are fasting, Lord, we thank you for testimony. We thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for your wonders. We thank you for so many great things that you are doing right now. And we thank you for what you will do tomorrow. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please go around and bless somebody and tell them God is going to do a mighty thing for you today. Oh, my hands are blessed. In the presence of the Lord, oh, my hands are blessed. In the presence of the Lord, everything I do, everything I do, my hands are blessed. In the presence of the Lord, hallelujah. My hands are blessed in the presence of the Lord. Oh, my hands are blessed in the presence of the Lord. Hey, anything I do, everything I do, my hands are blessed in the presence of the Lord. If my heart is in the presence of the Lord, my heart is in the presence of the Lord. Hey, everything I see, everything I touch, my heart is blessed in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, my heart is blessed. My heart is blessed in the presence of the Lord. My heart is blessed in the presence of the Lord. Everything I touch, everything I do, my heart is blessed. The presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Shout, shout, shout. 
shout hallelujah 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 hey, hey. come on yeah but shout hallelujah 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 hey, hallelujah hey. hallelujah hallelujah hey. hallelujah hey. hallelujah hey. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God. Never, never take anything for granted. Amen? Because we just never know. Amen? Anything can happen at any time. Amen? But we praise God that the Lord has kept us. His eyes has been upon us. Hallelujah. We have been praying and we have been fasting amen if you have not been joining online give it a try you will never regret it amen and we were here also on tuesdays and fridays you know and we do the same this week our prayer has been so strong that the two fridays the police came <laughs> they came two fridays ago we are disturbing some some spirits in the area because the prayers we are praying are very, very strong. And we are not surprised that the police came two weeks ago and they also came last week Friday. And by the time they came, we just finished and the officer is like, please, everybody is calling. Please calm down. <laughs> so, you know, we have, we have blew some areas. So, you know, but we will not stop. Amen? We will not stop. We will finish, and we will finish strong. It's, uh, it's, it's ex it should be expected when you are doing something different. 
than what you are doing before. There must be something. Something must shake. Amen. And before we finish these 49 days, something is going to shake. Amen. In Jesus' name. And this morning, we continue in prayers. Amen. And Jesus himself said, in this world, you will have tribulation. Amen. What is tribulation? Tribulation is uh, things, problems that you cannot explain. Situation that you can just not, you can't understand why certain things happen to you. Amen. Yeah, yesterday we went for the uh, funeral service for Mama, the Mama that passed away. Amen. And by the end of uh, service, we are going to do a fundraising. Amen. For uh, Mama Lucy that passed away. Amen. I mean, how many people remember Mama Lucy? Amen. Hallelujah. So they are going to be taking the body home. Amen. They are going to be taking the body home. And we know, you know, that is expenses. Amen. So we did the funeral yesterday, but I don't want church members to be going to give $20, $30. We don't want to disgrace ourselves as a church. Amen. So we want to put all the money together and give it to them. Amen. Hallelujah. So we will do that after service. Anyway, one of the cousin came up and said oh in the last one year they bury almost four or five people from the family amen and he said she died young because in a in a her grandmother died at 98 her own mother died at uh, almost close to 89 and she died at 70 so the man said she died very young but you see, anything can happen to anybody at any time. You understand? Our parents' destiny is different from our own destiny. And that is why we pray. So that whatever struggle that they went through, we don't have to go through it. Because we are different. Amen. So when Jesus himself is saying, he said, in this, in this world, you will have tribulation. Hallelujah. Peace. Open your Bible. Today is Bible, Bible, and prayer. Every prayer is coming from the scripture. Amen? But now I want to give you three scriptures before we start praying. Amen? Because the whole service is prayer. There is no preaching. As the Lord said, um, for seven weeks there must not be preaching. We should just come and pray. So we have done, this is our third Sunday. So we still have four more Sundays. That all we just come here to do is to pray. Amen. In John chapter 16 verse 33. John chapter 16 verse 33. John 16 33. John chapter 16 verse 33. Are we there? Amen. And the word of the Lord said, I have told you this thing so that in me you may have peace. Everybody say peace. 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 He said in this world you will have tribulation or trouble. Amen. You will have trouble. But in Jesus what can we have? Peace. I said, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Amen. Jesus has overcome the world. And because Jesus has overcome the world, Jesus said we can have peace in him. Amen? But in the world, we will have what? Trouble and tribulation. So when we understand that we are in the world, we are not in the sky. Trouble will just come and locate us. Even if you don't look for it, it will come and locate you. Because why? God caused the land. When he said to Adam and Eve that because God made everything to be beautiful for them, you understand? But because they disobeyed God, God caused the land. And as a result of that, there is all types of problems, all types of difficulties. And, you know, with this in mind, 
with so much and then when there was war in heaven again as if god causing the land is not enough as there was war in heaven again in the book of revelation then the devil was also all down they sent him to the heart so he stays here in the heart if the devil is living somewhere what do you expect we will have problems but in jesus we will have peace and that is why jesus christ came to give us peace there is no other person that can give us peace and we need that peace so much amen we need the peace so much and that is why we pray because we have to get ourselves out of problems you understand you may have been praying for a particular thing over and over and over and over and over and over but no result it's not because god is not hearing it's because you have powerful forces that are standing amen you have power powerful forces that are saying they will not allow this thing to happen so if we give up they will just bury us but if we don't give up if we keep praying if we keep marching one day the bible says, resist the devil and he will flee amen so we cannot afford to give up even though we are facing all types of tribulation everybody is different but if we if we remain faithful, if we remain standing, we will be victorious in Jesus' name. We will be victorious because Jesus has promised we will find peace in him. And we will find that peace. And until we get that peace, we cannot stop. Amen? Hallelujah. So now, if you open your Bible to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. The book of Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. Are we there? Chapter 3 verse 12. Amen. Are we there? Is everybody there? Say amen if you are there. Amen. The word of the Lord says. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be what? Will be what? You will suffer or persecuted. If you want to live a godly life, you want to live a godly life. <laughs> you will suffer persecution. Because the devil will mark you. Amen. The devil will work. You you'd want to do good. Because when you do good. And you live a godly life. You are a candidate for heaven. But when you do bad. Satan don't have time for you. Amen. We left here on Friday. We just finished praying. And I decided to pass through Kelly Square. Because there was, um, they blocked the, um, the exit here. Oh, come and see girls. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. Some of them, the boobs are almost outside. The skirts, you can almost see the pan. And everybody, look, it's like, it's like two in the afternoon. But this is 1 a.m. Everywhere, all around Kelly Square, from even this street down the road, very getting close to Kelly Square, everywhere at night is almost like a nightclub. And they were all outside blowing cigarettes. <laughs> and everybody, everybody is just hanging out with beer. Oh, yo, 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 yo. It's, it's like a marketplace. And as I was going, I was saying to myself, Oh, Lord, my God. Is really two kingdom. You understand what I'm saying? You know, those people, they believe you or me, they don't have as many problems as we have. Do you understand me? They already have the mark of Satan. You understand? Some of them, as they were there, they are going to live with somebody else to go and sleep with tonight. They don't even know the person's name. They may not even remember the person. You understand? The devil just keep them popping up. You know? Get high. You know? Enjoy. Enjoy. 
enjoy, enjoy. You know, is there with them. You understand? Because he gives them the money to be able to go out and destroy themselves. Are you with me? But if you a believer, a believer that is going doing everything right, that is when serious blockage. Satan will stand here. You will stand here. You will stand here. You will stand here. You will stand here. Box you in and say how you are going to do it. When you pray, you knock this one out. You still have all this other one. So it's like ah. Is it only me? Yes, it's only you. Because you dare decide to follow Jesus. When you follow Jesus, you are the enemy of Satan. All the devil wants to do is to make sure he pulls you down. Because you are going to a place he came from and that he can never go back to. You are a candidate for heaven. And if you are a candidate for heaven, the devil cannot stand you. But if you always remember in your heart and in your mind the word of the Lord that says, resist the devil. When you are resisting somebody, you are fighting them. You must fight to the end. Amen. Because if you don't fight to the end, you cannot be lukewarm. It's either you are cold or you are hot. If you are lukewarm, God himself said, I will split you out. So you cannot just be in between. You cannot be like, I'm not on the devil's side. But I'm not on God's side either. I'm just here. There is no such thing in spirit. You have to belong. Amen. Either you are a child of the devil or a child of God. But what Jesus is saying is that if you want to live a godly life, you, have, you will be prosecuted. But there is nothing saying you must stay in that prosecution. Are you with me this morning? We, there must be a way out of prosecution. Amen? And that is why we are praying. When you pray, something is removed. Because you, when you pray, you are, you are praying to the God of heaven. So when we pray, we usher in the presence of the Lord. And the angels will come. And the Holy Spirit will come. And more power will come. So then they can fight to release us. But when you don't pray, nothing is going to happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you don't pray, the problem will still remain. But if you pray, you will have forces in heaven. Because God will not move unless you move. God will not do anything unless you pray. Because God can remove it, but God wants us to pray. Because he already said, in this world, we will have prosecution. Amen? So, in order for us to get ourselves out of prosecution, we must stand very firm. Because every day, you must all... Okay, who do you think brought down the plane that killed all those 300 and people, something people? Do you know it might be because Satan wants to get rid of one person? Just because of one person, Satan can send his demons to kill a whole village. Why do you think war even starts? That somebody will take another human being. Have you ever thought about that? And take a gun and just shoot them like this. As if they are animal. And they don't care. And somebody can take a, a, a knife and just cut somebody's throat. I had a, there was a small civil war, a small civil war, you know, in my town. And people have intermarried. You know, it's like, um, this is Worcester. What is the next town around here? Auburn. This is Auburn. It's just a street separating them, right? And for, for more than 100 years, people from here and here have intermarried. You understand? They have intermarried because it's the same community. Do you know the people here said, okay, the people here are majority, the people here are minority. And the minority said, we want our own local government. We want to have our own local government it's the same state. We are still in the same neighborhood, but we want somebody to represent us in our own local government. And that is how the war started. And as the war started, guess what happened? The people here said, you want local government? You want local government? They would carry a knife and cut off their neighbor's neck. Like this. Husband and wife. 
husband and wife that have kids for each other, they were killing each other. Amen? This, do, do you understand what I'm saying? They will take a pregnant woman and cut and just cut the inside. They were burning people and cutting them live. One of my cousins said to me, Auntie, I believe that there are demons now. I said, why? Well, he said before the war, when you see a dead body, he will be shaking. He said, but when the war started, he was following the warrior. He and he himself is shouting, kill them! Kill them! He said he don't even know. He said when he see, he said some of the people they killed, he knows them. He said, ah, cut off the head! Because that is our spirit. A spirit was released. And when the spirit is released, demons are moving. So that is why we must continuously pray. Because we don't know what is released. You understand? The only way when tri troubles and tribulations are moving, you need the Holy Spirit to also come in. And the only way that you can usher in the presence of heaven when tribulation is going around you, is by prayer. So you need a spirit too to be moving around you. As the negative spirits are moving and bringing the problem, you need, you need to release the word of the Lord. When you release the word of the Lord, the, word of the heaven too will come and move around you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when tribulation and problems are going on in your life, and all you are saying, Oh Lord, help me, oh. That is flesh. You understand? It's not, it's not affecting the spirit world. You understand? You need a spirit world to fight a spirit. Because it is a spirit that brought the problem and tribulation in your life in the plus play, first place. So you need another spirit to move around you to break the power of that spirit. Amen? Hallelujah. So we're going to start releasing the word of the Lord because the situation we are going through, each and every one of us is different. But there is another thing that I came across one scripture yesterday that I, I'm like, oh Lord, this is deep. Isaiah chapter 48. Wow. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 10. Isaiah 48 10. Well, Evangelist Obi has put us on the hair. So we are, people are seeing us live. Amen? We are, we are live on the screen right now. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. So, hallelujah. Can we open to Isaiah chapter 48 verse 10? Isaiah 48 10. Are we all there? Now, 48 verse 10. He says, see, I have refined you. Say, I have been refined. He said, true not as silver. I have tested you in the fullness of affliction. Let me explain this scripture. God himself. God himself is saying to you this morning, say he has refined you, he has reshaped you. When you refine something, you, 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 um, you know, you, you refine a silver, you can turn it to a gold. You understand what I'm saying? It has to go through fire. God is telling you that he himself has refined you, not like silver, but he has refined you in a furnace, in a fire of affliction. It is in affliction when you are going through difficulties that God makes you to be who he wants you to be. Are you with me? Do you understand what I'm saying? It is in problem when you are going through problem. That is when God makes your heart to be solid, to make you to be strong. If you have not gone through problem or affliction, God cannot use you. 
You understand what I'm saying? You are too easy. You have not been broken yet. So God is saying, through the fullness of affliction, that is when I refine you. That is when I make you to be who I want you to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is God himself. If everything is easy, easy, easy for you, you probably, who knows, maybe just be sleeping from uh, a nightclub that you went through till 3 a.m. this morning. You understand what I'm saying? But in, a, in affliction, the Lord reshape you to be who exactly he wants you to be. So sometimes, God allow affliction to happen so that you can come out of it as a better person, as a stronger person, as a person who God can use to help other people. Amen? Because God sees everything and he knows everything. Sometimes he allows it to happen so that you will appreci we will appreciate who he is. So that when he gives you your heart desire what you want, you will learn to give thanks to him and not go overboard with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we are going to start praying. Hallelujah. We are going to start praying this morning because we want those afflictions to go. Amen. Can we have the instrumentalist, please? Amen. We're about to pray. Can we rise up on our feet? All you just need is your Bible. You need your Bible today to pray. Amen? Frank, can you come? Who else has a very strong voice that can pray this morning? Who has a strong voice? Frank, come. Amen. My brother is getting older now. He said his, his voice is a... His voice is in retirement. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, this morning, I want us to go to before the Lord and lay all our affliction that we are going through right now. Well, I want us to lay it before the Lord and ask Him that as His word is released this morning, that the God of heaven we take away this affliction from us in Jesus' name. Come on, talk to the Father right now. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you all the glory this morning. Come on, everybody, begin to talk to the Lord this morning. Father, we are going through affliction right now. And we need your help. Father, because you are the helper. Of the saints, O Lord. Naria Kapashon Torobosida. Father, we are just up to looking up to you, God of heaven, this morning. And we are asking in the mighty name of Jesus. For you, you have the power to take affliction. My Lord and my Savior, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are just here this morning to cry out to you about our affliction, O Lord. Father, as we are about to release the word of the Lord this morning, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will roll all this reproach and the affliction away from us. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Father, before the Lord. Let them before the Lord. Let them before the Lord. 
As the Lord this morning to take control, let him take over, let him take over, let the Lord take over, let the Lord take over, let him take over, let the Lord take over, when the Lord takes take over, Lord, we need you to take over, Father, we need you to take over, take over everything we are going through today in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Please open your Bible to Psalm number 34, verse 17. Psalm 34, 17. Because the what the Lord said, we, we have affliction, but there is a way out of problem. There is a way out of difficulties. And we need to release the word of the Lord. For those affliction to go this morning. Psalm number 34 verse 17. Seventeen to eighteen. Uh, uh, actually seventeen to nineteen. Psalm thirty-four, seventeen to nineteen. We are going to pray that scripture. Whatever it is that you are going through, the spirit of the Lord will help. And it will remove those afflictions in Jesus' name. Amen. Are we there? The word of the Lord reads, he said, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hear them. May the Lord hear us this morning. Amen. He said, He delivered them from all their troubles. He said, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He saved those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles. But the Lord deliver him from them all. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. From them all. Mm -hmm. All the problems, all the difficulties, all the issues that you are going through this morning. God is close to the broken hearted. God will deliver. Come on, begin to tell him according to his word. Let him deliver you from Jesus. problems, from difficulties that you are going through this morning. Come on, everybody cry out to the Lord today. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, our God, Father, we are here this morning. Father, we are here. Father, Father you said the righteous may have many problems. Father, many difficulties. But you said you were delivered. You said you were delivered. You said you were delivered. You said you were delivered from them all. Why God am I saved? You are the power of Holy Ghost. in the verse of Matthew, for let your word and power and so on, for I will scarce not in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the righteous cry out to you. The Bible says, the oppressed are being held. Therefore, for I will pray unto you with all tears. Let our voice be heard in the name of Jesus. Let our voice be heard. Let our voice, let our voice be heard. For I will be heard. Let our voice be heard. Let our voice be heard. Let our voice be heard. Let our let our voice be heard. 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 Let our voice be Let our voice be heard. 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 Let our voice be let our voice be heard. Our voice be heard. Let 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 our voice be heard. 
Please open to Psalm 138, verse 7 to 8. 138 of the book of Psalm, verse 7 to 8. Amen. Verse 7 to 8. And the word of the Lord read. He said, though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. God will preserve our life. God will preserve our life. Problem will not bury us in Jesus' name. He said, you stretch out your hand against the anger of my enemies. With your right hand, you will save me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your love, O Lord, endure forever. Do not abandon the work of your hand. Amen. God will not abandon us. Even though when we walk in the midst of trouble, God will preserve our life. And he will stretch out his hand against the enemy. Come on, begin to talk to the Lord right now. Father, don't in the name of Jesus, for the tonight, in the midst of my trouble, when I do not force in the midst of my problems, for the you are and by your power, for the deliver me from the hands of the enemy, for the deliver me from the hands of the wicked, for the deliver me from the hands of the enemy, for the deliver me from the hands of the wicked, they come out the other one. They come the of the wicked. the of the wicked. the of the wicked. the of the wicked. the the in Jesus' name, the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7. James chapter 4 verse 7. Let's go to James chapter 4 verse 7. James. James chapter 4 verse 7. James chapter 4 verse 7. Are we there? Are we there? James chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. Amen. Please write some of these scriptures down because let me tell you, you need to be praying because the problem will not go away unless you pray the scripture. When you declare the word of the Lord to a problem, that problem will, will, is, it will go away because the problem is caused by a spirit. And the spirit of God is the word of God. It is the spirit that will chase the problem away. If you can cry, if it's crying that can chase the problem away, your crying will have chased it away to start with. But you need the spirit to be able to chase the word of God, to chase the enemy away. Amen. Hallelujah. In James chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. Amen. Let's go there. 
He said, Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hand, you sinner, and purify your heart, you double-minded. Amen. Amen. We are purifying our heart this morning. Amen. We are submitting ourselves to God this morning. Jesus. You have to give yourself completely to God of heaven Jesus. so that the devil Amen. can flee from you, so that you can resist and fight the devil after you gave yourself to God. Then you and God can resist the devil and the devil will now flee. The devil is not fleeing because of you. He is because of God who is behind you. Hallelujah. That is why the devil is fleeing. He is not fleeing because you are standing there as a human being. The devil is fleeing because you have submitted yourself to God. You have given yourself to God. So when the devil is looking at you, he is looking at God behind you. Amen. So everybody this morning, I want you to pray and begin to tell the Lord, Father, I am surrendering. I am submitting myself completely to you. Help me, Lord, because the devil and his demons, they are constantly bringing problems my way. But I know if I submit myself completely to you, you will be able to help me to turn against this devil so that he can flee away from me. Come on, children of God, pray the word of God this morning. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I am submitting everything I surrender. I submit everything to you, God of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. I Father, I Jesus. give you, God of heaven, in the Jesus. name of Jesus, Lord, I approach you this morning. Lord, and I, I say, Lord, I give you all, all, Lord, all, Lord, everything Lord. in me. I give it Surround to you. Me, because, Lord, you are my daddy. It is only you that can help me, my Lord and my Savior, to fight the devil so that he can flee. I resist you, Satan, this morning by the blood of Jesus. This morning, oh Lord. With the, the blood devil. of Jesus. I the devil. With the blood of Jesus. I the devil. To resist the evil one. I resist the enemy. In the name of Jesus. I resist Jesus. Satan this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because he has no power over me. I surrender to God. In Jesus name. Amen. I want you to begin to pray. I surrender to God. I surrender to God. In Jesus name. Amen. I want you to begin to pray. That Satan I resist you this morning in the name of Jesus. Get away from my life. Flee from me because Jesus is with me. Flee from my family. Flee from me, Satan. I resist you by the blood of Jesus. I resist you by the name of Jesus. Satan, I resist you this morning because I have surrendered to Jesus. Go away. Go, go, go. Come on, children of God, pray this morning. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Satan, this morning, we resist you, we resist you, by the blood of the Lord, by the blood of Jesus, get away, get away, Satan, get away from us. The Take blood resists you. Get away from our home. Get away from our family. In the mighty name of Jesus. I resist every power. I resist every power this morning. I resist every power. I resist every power. I resist every power. I resist every power. In the name of Jesus. 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 I resist every power. 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 I resist every
Amen. The word, you know, we are resisting according to the word of the Lord, not according to the word of man. And Satan must obey. Because Jesus Christ said, it is written, as soon as Satan hears it is written, he must obey. What you are doing is not your word. It is the word of God. The Lord said, resist him more. I said the poverty he came to give you. Resist it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Ask him to take it away. I said sickness that he came to give you. Resist it in the name of Jesus. Ask him to take his sin. Satan, take your sickness and go away. Amen. He said he will flee. Take it and flee and go. Because you are resisting him, not in your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, all the problem he has given you, begin to mention those problems and begin to tell him, you resist that problem in the name of Jesus. Let him take that problem and flee with it in Jesus' name. Come on, everybody, pray very well. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, by the power of the Holy Ghost. the blood of Jesus. For the
the mighty name of Jesus, by the word of God, the Father of all, the Father of all, the Savior, the Holy Blessed, the Father of all, 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 we break we break in Jesus name Amen. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 13 Are we there? Isaiah chapter 42. Verse 13. 13, not 18, 13. 1, 3. Amen. Are we all there? 